Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Lieutenant Governor of Alaska, the Honorable Lauren Lehman. Thank you, John. Senator Stevens, Governor and Mrs. Murkowski, former Governor and Mrs. Knowles, Lieutenant Governor and husband Bill Council, Governor Hickel, Justice Carpinetti, members of the military, members of the diplomatic corps, family, most of you anyway, and guests. This is the sixth time I've taken the state oath of office, and it's the only time that I've arrived in Juneau one hour before I was to take it. But today I feel the same swirl of emotion, perhaps even more, than I did 14 years ago when I walked up the steps of the Capitol and became a member of the Alaska House. It is both uh, euphoric and humbling to become your Lieutenant Governor today. You and I live in the most extraordinary state in the Union. Alaska's staggering size, natural beauty and vast resources, as well as its strategic location and challenging weather patterns, are unparalleled. But even though our natural resources are the envy of the nation, they pale in comparison to our richest resource, the people of Alaska. Most crucial to our state's success it's not the latest social program from Washington or Juneau, or even high oil prices. Success rests squarely on the shoulders of individual Alaskans taking responsibility. How we value one another, especially the most vulnerable among us, is a measure of that responsibility. My friends Jim and Janice Studley of Haines, I understand they're here with us today. I don't see them right now, but it's a large audience. Uh, they're here with their daughter, Nicole, embody the spirit of responsibility. Nicole has a disability and needs a lot of care. She also has an indomitable spirit. She approaches everything with a can-do attitude. There's no valley too low, no mountain too high. I learned when I was in Haines earlier this summer, she's also a charmer. Where do these values come from? Washington? Juno? No, they come from ordinary Alaskans, like my parents, Nick and Marion Lehman, who are here today. They taught my brothers and me the values of honesty, persistence, and hard work, and that all people deserve respect. Thank you, Mom and Dad. And also to my brother Wayne and your wife Elena, who, as we talk, are circling overhead. Wayne, you've been a support to me in more ways than I can cover in the few minutes that I have been allotted. Your work in preserving the record of our family's Russian Aleutic heritage back to the establishment of the Russian America colony on Kodiak more than 200 years ago is an inspiration to our entire extended family. Thank you also to my brother Mark, who is unable to be with us today. These values come from dedicated teachers in Nanilchik, like Miles Coverdale, who nearly four decades ago taught me the Alaska Constitution, article by article. He was excited about its vibrancy. And Bob Palmer, who three years later showed me by example that I too could become a legislator. Although neither is able to join us here today, two of their former colleagues we're planning to be here. I understand that one is, is not, was not able to make it. I don't know about the other, but thank you, Frank Miller, for inspiring me to explore science and mathematics. You made it fun. And thank you, Emma McCune, for teaching me government and Alaska history and believing that a student from the Nilchik could really compete with students from the larger schools in our state. The trip to Washington, D.C. was memorable. I especially thank my wife, Carolyn, and our children, Joseph, Rachel, and Nicole, for their sacrifices and support. Carolyn has been my wife, a true friend, 
and supporter for more than 24 years. Thank you for helping make dreams come true. I love you. You have incredible patience to put up with me. And Joseph, I know you've tried your best to get here. Uh, he probably would have come the farthest of anybody. Came from Russia just to come down and he's circling overhead as we speak. Uh, thank you for making the effort. I hope you can still get here today. I also recognize my immediate predecessor, Fran Ulmer. For 29 years, you have served our state and this community with dedication and energy. You have been gracious and helpful during the transition. Thank you, Fran. Carolyn and I have enjoyed getting to know Frank and Nancy Murkowski better as we travel across this beautiful state. They are committed to building a better Alaska, and we are delighted to serve with them. I'm especially grateful to God for his gift of life and the resources he has provided for our sustenance and to wisely develop this great land, and also for safety and travel. Let us never forget our real source of provision and authority. God bless you, God bless Alaska, and God bless America. <laughs>